ChatGPT is a language model developed by OpenAI, which is extremely powerful and can do a variety of tasks, including chatbot interactions, speech to text, generating images, etc. In this video, we will use Spring Boot to invoke ChatGPT API for chat completion. We will be using the Java community library as referred on the OpenAI website. In my previous video, Understanding ChatGPT API, I have covered the ChatGPT concepts, the request and response structures, what various fields mean in the request, and how they allow us to configure the API to return responses as per our preferences, like the length of the return response, how focused the response should be, etc. Please refer to it if you are not aware of these concepts. First, let me go to openai.com website. Click on Developers and then Documentation. Click on the Libraries link on the left. There are libraries for Python, Node and Azure, but for the rest of the languages, there are some community libraries. Let's scroll down to Java and click on OpenAI by Theo Canning. It brings us to the GitHub page where Theo has code, documentation and examples. We can also implement calling the API with Java code from scratch using REST template and maybe I'll create a video with that approach too. But using this library abstracts a lot of that work and makes development very easy. You can see the Maven dependency for bringing in Theo's library. Let's google com.theocanning.openai maven to get the latest version. Let's click on this link and then service. Here is the latest version 0.14. Click on it and copy the Maven dependency. Next, let's start generating our Spring Boot project. Go to start.spring.io, choose Maven, artifact name is ChatGPT Spring Boot. Click Add Dependencies, type Web and choose Spring Web. Click Generate. It downloads a zip file. Let's unzip it. And here are the contents of the zip file, the familiar Maven structure. Here I have IntelliJ open. Let's click open, navigate to the folder where we extracted the zip file and click open. Click trust project. Here is our project. Expand source and we see the main Java class which was generated for us. Let's go to the pom.xml file and paste the Maven dependency we saw earlier over here. Now right click on the package and choose new Java class name is my controller. Let's go to the application.properties file and let me paste here a couple of properties. OpenAI model which we'll be using here GPT 3.5 turbo and openai.api.key which you can obtain from your account. Please watch my video Understanding ChatGPT API if you want to see how to obtain it. Let's go back to my controller and mark it as a REST controller. Next with the value annotation, let's bring in the openai.model property we had in the application.properties file and declare it as private string model. Similarly, bring in openai.key property in private string API key variable. Now let's create a get mapping to the slash chat endpoint. Create a method public string chat which takes in request parameter of type string as prompt. Next, using OpenAI service which we brought in using the Maven dependency for com.theocanning.openai, create a variable service as new OpenAI service which takes in the API key. Let's go to the pom.xml file and reload to download the libraries. Cool. Now create a list of chat message messages as new array list of chat message. Next create a chat message message as new chat message which takes in the role as user and the prompt which was received as input parameter. We add the message to the message array list. Next let's create chat completion request. Completion request as chat completion request dot builder we can add the message pass it the model we can specify the temperature let's specify 0 0.6 we can specify n 
which is the number of alternate responses we want ChatGPT to generate. Let's just say one for now. Similarly, this class allows you to add further parameters to customize the behavior of the ChatGPT response. When we have specified everything, we call build. Let's declare a list of chat completion choices, choices as the result of invoking service.chatcompletion request, passing in our completion request object, and then get choices. This would call the chat GPT API, passing our request and obtains the choices returned by the call. Next, let's declare a string, return string, where we will hold the return messages. Let's iterate over the choices list and concatenate to the return string response and the choice.getMessage.getContent and then add a new line as system.line separator for better readability in case we had asked for multiple alternate choices using the end parameter. We need to initialize the return string. Finally, return the return string. The temperature should be 0.6. Let's click on the run and then edit configuration. Add a new configuration as an application. Click on the main class. Go to project tab and navigate to our main application class and say OK. Let's name the configuration as my run configuration. Click OK. Now one thing I noticed is that we have not used the right braces and key names from the application.properties file in the value clauses. They should be named as openai.model and openai.api.key. Let's correct these. Let's also put the right braces. All right, it looks good now. Hit the run button. The application starts successfully. Go to the browser and type HTTP localhost 8080, then our chat endpoint, and the prompt as tell me a joke. Click enter. Chat GPT responds with a joke. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. That's funny. So we were able to successfully invoke Chat GPT API and receive a response in our application. In this video, we created a new Spring Boot app and then used the com.theocanning.openai Maven dependency. We invoked the chat completion API and received a response. Thanks for watching.